Hey, good morning. It's Saturday, uh, the third. Yeah, sitting here with Mama having a cup of coffee with a mug. I broke the handle, and I tell you what, hot glue does work. You know, <laughs> I always break mugs. I'm like the worst in the world. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. That's true. All the ones I tell y'all. Um, I'm not I'm trying. I'm trying to get a claw out of my shirt. Mama couldn't let me. There she goes. All right. I um, was uh, doing the First Coast uh, bodybuilding show in Jacksonville, Florida. I think I was like, finally got to my top weight as a middleweight, you know, about 176. And uh, Dex was there, and he was wearing a pair of overalls, excuse me, pair of overalls with no shirt. And, uh, you know, country overalls. And um, he was starting to get into his prime. This is where he started you know, coming into his own. And um, I think he was still a middleweight at that time, or he just came in, like I said, because I don't think he'd done Southern Estates yet. And uh, he won that overall. Um, so anyway, Nasir El Somebody is a guest poser. And um, we're backstage, and De Dex come backstage, and we were talking, me and Dex, and I can't remember the other person. But anyway, we're talking... And either I just came off stage or going on, you know, a little bit later. can't remember. But Nasser, when he was off season, dude, he looked like a sumo wrestler. I don't mean any disrespect to homie, but he was, <laughs> he, had a lot, let's put a lot, uh, he had a lot of cheese on that frame. And um, Dex has got his back to him. And I'm not going to lie, man. Dex wasn't disrespecting him. He was telling a fact. Uh, he was just saying what the truth was, the obvious. Everybody was saying it. And, um, man, i tell you what, I was like, you know, I didn't take it as Dex being cocky. I took it as him being confident because he was coming into his own. His, and, and he said, um, look at that fat blankety blank. And, and he's only standing like behind Dex by six, seven feet talking to people. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know, I'm thinking, dude, he can hear you. You know, I, I believe I said that. And he's like, I don't give a you know, blankety blank. And Dex was coming at it not as an a-hole, okay, somebody that didn't compete or somebody that wouldn't compete with him one day. He came at it as uh, a competitor's point. And he was, I'm telling you, he was so fat. There, I said it, I He was so fat. Nasir was so daggum fat. He was wearing posing trunks. When he walked out on stage, there was uh, um, these railings that went out um, on the side of the theater, and it was like a one by six, um, might be a two by six, but the point being, he had to turn sideways and shuffle sideways, foot you know, side to foot, foot side to foot, going down it. The promoter was so worried about him falling off, and he's up looking at him, making sure, holding his arms out so he didn't fall off. If homeboy had fell off, he'd smush a dude, and I guarantee you this, he was laced 325, somewhere around there. I mean, you wouldn't even thought he was a bodybuilder. He looked that bad. But, um, yeah, that's a story about <laughs> Dex. <laughs> I love that boy, man. Once you boys, I'm always, we're always boys. You know what I mean? We just grew apart when he had to, when he turned pro, man. Everybody has to be on their own to do their own for that type of sport, this, um, level of sport. But anyway, that's all, man. I want to shit out with you. I thought it was funny. Anyway, y'all take care. Boom.